Hey guys, what's up? So today I decided to do a mukbang because it was highly requested that I do one. As you can see, we're in our bedroom. Sorry for the lighting. So the question of the day is, we're going to talk about how my husband's been here for almost a year. So how is this transition going since he's been in Canada and how he's finding it? Right, babes? Nope. What do you mean, no? <laughs> so, is it everything that you expected when you came to Canada? No. Nope. No? What was your first night like? Cool. Mm-hmm. Your first time flying on a plane, how was that? <laughs> See? That was your first plane ride. And how did you find it? Was it scary? No. Do you like it? Hmm? People like plane ride. It's not, some people do like traveling. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. no. Well, that's too bad. Are you going to have to get used to it? Okay, you know, like plane ride and you're stuck in a cold country, you're going to have to get used to it. So what advice would you have for people that are newcomers and just transitioning into a new country that they've never been to before. Don't come to Canada. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's cold? Warm climate. <laughs> it's not that bad. What? It's not that bad. Well, it's a culture shock. I could tell you that. Because I migrated to Canada when I was really young. So it is a culture shock and for somebody that has grown up their whole life in Canada and just come here as a grown man Well, it's even gonna be a worse of a culture shock kids It's easy for kids to adjust when they're in a different when they come from one country to a different country It's more harder For growing folks to adjust just like for change Adults are set in their ways. So it is harder and because you are set in your ways That's why it's harder right but what are the good things that you find about Canada? <laughs> well, of course, the money and the pay up here. Oh, napkin. It is way better. Um, how do you find like the culture, like um, as the diversity of people? Do you like that? Come in, I'm going. Some of them can go. Mm. <laughs> One thing he has a difficult time with, the food up here. That, that in itself is a culture shock. So, how was your experience at KFC for the first time? Is it the same as Jamaican KFC? <laughs> eh? No, answer that. Answer the question that people want to know. Was it the same or... Chicken and swimming and gravy. Chicken and swimming and gravy, that's what you call it. Mm. Yes, guy. It's first time I'm having KFC up here because you, you thought it was going to be like the oh, Jamaican no, KFC. famous bowl. Yeah. yeah, the famous bowl. He generally loves to have the famous bowl and you end up going to the mall. I took him to the mall for the first time. He had his first famous bowl in I Canada. Know, made, Actually, him look on it and he's like, what is this? And say, Shan, I will you bring me come eat. <laughs> He's like, you call this food? So he hated it. He's like, me can't eat this. So that end up going in the garbage. Because he said, you know, see the meat, but it did not even cook. He said, no season. He said, but this is no KFC. He said, a KFC cousin. I will leave a thing in call cousin up here. Right? So how was your first experience grocery shopping? Like the pricing from back home to up here, how's how is that different for you? Hmm? Um, let me see now. Like five dollars for uh, sugar buns. One of them, um, what do you What we what call, call what? Cinnamon bun. Um, oh, for, oh, the cinnamon bun up here. I won't do that at the Jamaican. 
for one sugar bun. Mm, for one. Yep. And how much is for a sugar bun in Jamaica? Unless I'm going to get some place. Well? Yes, it's one dollar. Yeah, but we got to remember, you know, mm -hmm. Canada, Canada, you're living on. Mm -hmm. The prices, our, our taxes and prices over here is way higher than the state. So everything is going to be higher, right? So out of here in Jamaica, which one do you think more expensive? Can you know, say people always complain mm -hmm. and say, oh, things can't buy in Jamaica. So what? Well, complain to Jamaica, right? See, but that's what I'm saying because why you always think, when I go home, I'm always comparing the prices of the Canadian prices to stuff that I buy in Jamaica. I mean, I tell the, my husband, say, things are more cheaper in Jamaica than certain things I buy up here. Certain things I'd rather buy in Jamaica and bring it up here more than buy from up here and bring it down there, right? The best time to get things is more like when they're on sale. All right. So how was your first snowfall? When I eat. What? When you eat? I said, how was your first snowfall? <laughs> <laughs> And as you see him can't help himself, him have to have the Jamaican juice the same way. Hello. Hmm? Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how was your first snowfall? When you almost make me freeze. You almost make you freeze? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, you know, I start. <laughs> Bring back memories, huh? I'm gonna feel my toes. Mm, you couldn't feel the toes, them? Oh my, poor thing. Mm. What would be one good advice you would recommend for somebody that they're just transitioning or they're about to come to Canada or anywhere back, even could be America and you're from the islands? But they don't know like what it's like because when you see on TV to comparing to you actually being here and people telling you it's different. Would you say it's different from somebody saying, oh, you know, it's so beautiful. And the things that you see on TV, is it the exact same way you see it? Or is it different now, now that you've been here? No difference. I see anything about how they're doing it there. Can I just... Just think about the money. <laughs> when I work, I come up here. When I plan for work. When you work, you get the money. Yeah. You hear that, guys? No. If you don't plan on coming here to make a good life for yourself, it doesn't make sense because you're just going to come and waste your time. When you get the opportunity, make use of the opportunity. It's not everybody come and make use of the opportunity. They'd rather go and sponge my family and don't do anything. So... In that case, you get the opportunity, you get up and do something with your life. Make something of yourself. Right? So, it's almost been a year since you've been here. Right. And even though you went back home for two months <laughs> since you come, because you couldn't wait to go home and thaw out, so we went home for two months out of the year. But... Other than that, what 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 are your thoughts? Would you say like you know you like it? You haven't been to the states yet, so you don't know what it's all about. But how do you find the people here? Do you find them pleasant? Do you find them ignorant? Do you find it clean? Do you find it dirty here? What do you think of the place so far? Everybody have their ups and downs. I mean, no, everywhere have them ups and downs, but like so far, very, very clean. Never give them props about that. Yeah, and keep here clean. What do you think about our high taxes? Mm -mm, nothing about that. Say nothing about that. Me never. Yeah. Nothing about you know what me say. I black you. But you gotta remember. The reason we why know. we have high taxes is because we have good health care here. I don't care. 
Yeah. When you work your money. But you do get it back. Really? No family like that. If you work a thousand dollars, you have three hundred and fifty dollars on the taxes. Okay. And when you're in me Jamaica, never get, no, me never get back. When me there, Jamaica, me not pay taxes. But that's different. But if you had to be working, you work for yourself, so that's different. Okay. But if you were in Jamaica and you work for like a good big name company, you m- imagine how much taxes you would be paying to the government down there, right? And that money that goes towards taxes is supposed to help pay for ro- roads, help build schools, healthcare, and all that stuff. But does that any of that money? You guys ever see any of that money? No, and you can't get to claim it and get taxed back. Really? As in here, you have that opportunity to do that. You can't claim it because we never get money. <laughs> no, guys. So, but guys, we're about to end this video. I hope you enjoy. You see, my husband is finished. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy this mukbang. Mm. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If there, if you guys would like more videos, mukbangs like this, we can actually do some more. So just leave it in the comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, any advice as well for people that are new and coming to this place. It is a beautiful place and it does have its ups and downs. Every country does. Right? But... You come into a land of, of opportunity and I hope when people do come into a country like this, they make use of it. There's so much people that get the opportunity and squander it and don't do nothing. And there's people that are like going crazy just to get the opportunity to come to a different country and make something better um, of themselves so they can help their family back home and help themselves and they don't get that chance. So yeah, let's have a discussion then you guys... Tell me, do you like this video? Um, if not, what do you think that we can do? Um, we can also do any other topic. Um, let me know next time if you want us to do another mukbang, what topics you guys would like. And we will also try and get that topic in. So I hope you guys like this video. We will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so my baby is putting up the tree. Yeah. Christmas in this. So tonight's our game night. Yes guys, it's our game night tonight. Everybody's all up for this is for my husband. Everybody's in pajamas. <laughs> oh god.